all right welcome back so today we have a uh, um i don't know where this is from but we're asking if there's a finite set of points such that for any two points the perpendicular bisector contains exactly two points in the set which has imo 2015 one vibes <laughs> but let's see All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's say two or more points. I see that's what the problem meant. Because if you take one point, it also doesn't work. It also works. <laughs> Hexagon plus center. Uh, is that? No, that doesn't work, right? One of the if you you can get three on one. So suppose you have n well least- I want to see what the double counting gives you first. So if we do the standard double counting argument first, we say double count pairs um, A, B, P with P on A, B. So what does this tell us? If I count by, by A, B, there are exact- why did I say pairs? I'm in triples. There are exactly two and choose two triples. Thank you, Oscar Goldman Owen, for the follow. And by counting at p, this means each point is in 1 over n times 2 and choose 2. Equals n minus 1. Good. I'll say each point is the apex of exactly n minus one good triples why exactly oh but no not exactly um of what, what am I writing? Of on average, sorry, on average n minus one. I think the we yeah yeah. I didn't mean exactly. Uh, ignore that. Can you draw what you are doing? Um. At some point maybe. Although I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> uh, okay. I hope I'm not out of battery. Given my luck, I'm probably out of battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't used this in a while. The board still has that figure from the... Um... Two times n choose two? You just, like, for every a, b, there's, like, two p. That's the problem hypothesis. Yeah, I, sorry, this is like one perpendicular bisector. Yeah, basically, so the, you want every point to be the apex of exactly two isosceles triangles. Or not exactly, I keep saying exactly, that, that's not what's happening. Um, If it, like, the, the, the... So you know how not, I saw this triangle, there's one vertex that's different from the other two? I mean that one.
Oh, does that work? Wait, does equal out of triangle plus midpoints work? No, it doesn't, right? Because you take two points that are next to... Yeah, like two close points on the... Yeah. <sighs> There's a square with an okay. All right, we'll, we'll pull up the whiteboard. You want a square with an equilateral triangle on each? No way. Maybe. Really? This doesn't work. I don't... F I hate math. Wait, I don't... How do, how do you do Geo? Are, are these two things actually equal? I guess so. This triangle's the rotation of this triangle. Does this work? They're, they're equal because like the that you get like let me draw it. This triangle is congruent to this triangle. I think. Yeah. Okay, all right. We're on a roll. <laughs> uh, why is the answer not no? Why would the answer be no? <laughs> because empty settings is... I had a feeling it was going to be a construction, to be honest. Because, I don't know, I feel like when things like this are, the answer is no, either the... There's a tendency for, like, the global argument to, like, give you, like, something useful. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like there is no conceptual reason that this shouldn't be possible, and also the fact that someone is asking me this question makes me think that they have a construction up their sleeve. Like. The, like, the fact that this was being posed on the stream, I would say. Because <laughs> if it's just like... If it's being posed on the stream, then either it's like a long... Like, some long intricate argument to like rule out things, or you just construct it. <laughs> but then, uh... Where, where did we say... Where was this from? I, s I heard Mern Gardner, right? <laughs> yeah, not existence without any global dots. Yeah, that's that's why I don't think it's like definitely too hard, but um It is on the hard end of high school math Olympiad to prove existence with no global information. Yeah, Martin Gardner. Yeah, if it's a Martin Gardner problem, it's probably a construction. <laughs> because if it's a Martin Gardner, it means that like a random person can understand the solution. So it's probably a construction. <laughs> 